Hello and welcome to this Union Solidarity International weekly news update. My name is Walton Pantland and I'm joined today by Andrew Brady. Um, I think for USI the big news this week has been the Greek elections and we've hosted two web conferences uh, where we've looked at the Greek elections and some of the, the views that people have had. We had a, a web conference with Professor Yanis Varoufakis and also with uh, Professor Kostas Lapavitsas. And um, I think there were, we had some really, really interesting views and some good feedback from people. Um, Andrew, what's your view on the, the Greek election and the, the situation there? Well, of course, we don't profess to be experts. What USI seeks to do is to bring the voice of experts to a British and Irish audience. So we were absolutely delighted, as you said, Walton, to have such prestigious and progressive academics like Yanis Varoufakis and Kostas Labavitsis. Of course, for the, the forces that are opposing austerity, the result on Sunday was disappointing and we shouldn't lose sight of that. However, paradoxically, the, the rise of, in particular, Syriza mm -hmm. has enabled the, the Greek government, no matter who it was going to be, to hopefully have a stronger bargaining position. And mm -hmm. those of us who hope that the, the conditions on the ground are they're helped in the sense of mm -hmm. that the people don't go through the pain that they have been going through, that hopefully progress can be made in potential discussions uh, between a new Greek government and the European authorities mm -hmm. in the Eurozone in particular. Kostas Lapovitsis last night uh, was saying in the web conference he doesn't expect the new government to last very long because uh, the austerity is so untenable and he also noted how strongly Syriza had grown since the previous election, I think from 17% up to 27 So he, he's, his view is very much that this is not the end of the story and uh, it, it gives Syriza a solid base to, to provide a real alternative. So I think um, very, very interesting to watch what, what happens in Greece, uh, maybe a blueprint for what's going to happen in the rest of Europe for, for the rest of this year. Um, Andrew, USI is um, six weeks old now. How do you think? How do you think we're doing? What's happening? What progress have we made as an organisation? Appetite for people to engage in, in particular, the technology that we bring to the table has been fantastic. We, we've held several video conferences that have involved people all over the world who are given their opinions, given their insight, and a real appetite and desire to link up. And I think what USI in particular brings to the table, as well as providing content which is interesting and uh, educational and awareness raising, we're able to connect people across mm -hmm. the world mm -hmm. and with the people who have participated in the web seminars that we've had thus mm -hmm. far, they've been very complimentary and we're learning as we go along That's of course ourselves yeah. and the more people that become familiar with the technology which is what we're trying to do and to make people not scared of it but to embrace it, embrace mm -hmm. it because we want progressives and trade unionists to be linking up, to be sharing ideas and information and campaigning together. And we've had 14,000 page hits on the website and the best part of 700 followers on Twitter in just over six weeks. Okay. And that, I think it's fantastic, yeah, the progress we're making. Absolutely. Greece is the country in the news with the crisis currently. Um, however, it looks like attention will soon be focused on Spain, which is going through a crisis which may turn out to be a similar one and will certainly be a larger scale crisis because the, the Spanish economy is a lot bigger than the Greek economy and we've certainly noticed the first signs of a serious industrial unrest in Spain with the Spanish miners strike which we were uh, helping to raise support for last week. Absolutely. I think when you speak to comrades in Greece and in other countries, what's quite crystal clear but it's difficult to actually get through sometimes that this isn't a problem of Greece, mm -hmm. this isn't a problem of Spain, of Portugal or Ireland, this is a problem of the system and you know there's no doubt that attention was soon going to turn away mm -hmm. from Greece after this election, however we shouldn't turn our, t our attention away from Greece because the, the impact that austerity is going to bring the, the forthcoming months is going to be unbearable mm -hmm. but you're absolutely right attention in the media soon uh, moves on to Spain in a situation whereby unemployment and youth unemployment have actually been statistically higher in Greece mm -hmm. 
where 53, 54% youth unemployment. I mean, it's just staggering if you think about people in a classroom today leaving to get into the job market. One in two of those people aren't going to have a job. And the one in two that is lucky, it could be a part-time yeah, job. absolutely. Uh, we aren't talking about full-time employment when we say they've got a job in the wage levels. And of course, we've had the the strikes by the, the miners in Spain uh, as a result of the cuts of mm -hmm. to the investment within that industry, which is going to leave a massive impact, a deindustrialization, which we, of course, in, in Britain have uh, only Experienced in the 80s to some exactly extent. have only you know seen all too clearly. So attention, of course, will turn to Spain over the next couple of months. Whether the bailout will be sufficient, mm -hmm. uh, whether the 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 bailout and the conditions attached, uh, and there hasn't been that many in contrast to other eurozone countries, is going to be fascinating to see. And the real bailout that should be happening is is the bailout for people. Yeah, it's the people absolutely. that are suffering. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be fascinating to see, as part of USI's strategy, we're going to be linking up with trade unions in Spain, mm -hmm. with our comrades in Gibraltar, where Unite has a branch, and we're going to be trying to build on some of the work that we've done thus far with ex-miners in the UK mm -hmm. wishing to show solidarity. We want to continue that, because the agenda isn't solely Greece and building solidarity is mm -hmm. building across the whole of Europe and beyond. Absolutely. It's important to mention that today is International Domestic Workers' Day and Union Solidarity International is helping to raise awareness of the plight of domestic workers and to connect domestic workers and their campaigns with each other around the world. We're also trying to encourage the UK government to ratify ILO Convention 189 on the rights of domestic workers. So if you're interested in getting involved in that campaign, please have a look at our website. There is a, there's a campaign there that you can sign and uh, join up with. Um, some other interesting news is the formation of a new global union federation called Industrial. And uh, Industrial has been formed by the merger between the IMF, which is the International Metal Workers Federation, ICHEM, uh, International Chemical Energy and Mining, and uh, the ITGLWF, which is International Textile Garment Leather Workers Federation. Um, exciting new global union federation, which hopefully will be able to put a lot of pressure on global business and particularly on supply chains to uh, bring collective bargaining cover to a lot more workers across the world. So I think I'm quite excited about that and like to see how industrial develops a new new voice for workers across the world. Um, Andrew, anything else you'd like to mention this week? Yeah, we will be, at, USI will be attending the Unite Policy Conference in, in Brighton. We attended uh, the GMB's conference as well. But our, we will be hosting a fringe meeting at Unite Policy Conference on Monday the, the 25th of June at 12.45pm. There will be more details on our website and we're absolutely delighted that the General Secretary of Unite, Len McCluskey, will be participating as well as the Irish Secretary, Jimmy Kelly, to give us the very interesting and fascinating insight to what has been going on in Ireland in terms of the austerity agenda that is only deepening and the problems in the Irish economy are only deepening. And we're being joined by comrades from our supporting organisations, ECA, the Athens Labour Centre, and we will also have a, a comrade from Olma, the Federation of Teachers, Secondary School Teachers. So we're really pleased that we're being able to bring our comrades over from Greece in light of the elections and the the issues that are facing the Greek people and to give that human story about what they're facing and obviously our Irish comrades as well and I think an event like the Fringe meeting that we're going to be having at Unite really crystallises that this is a European mm -hmm. white issue and that progressive movements and trade unions need to be finding ways to connect with one another and I think that's where USI brings a real added value to the movement. Uh, thank you very much Andrew and uh, thank you for listening or for watching this Union Solidarity International weekly news update.